Hey, I'm Quinton, and this is my second Adobe After Effects tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to do this effect. So it's just like the lightsaber effect, like in all of the Star Wars movies, obviously. And we're going to start out by making a new project. So file new, new project. So now, you can import your video. I'm pretty sure that this, yeah, this is it. So import your video. It doesn't need to be on a tripod or anything. It just basically needs to be um, you holding a lightsaber or a pen or whatever you want. This could also work with lasers too, like if you want a laser gun or something. So start out by naming this layer actor. So this you don't do anything to it really, so just do it, click on layer new solid and make this color white. And you can name it lightsaber. Make comp size and then hit okay. So now you just basically have a white background, white screen, but you can take the pen tool and make a lightsaber, just like a square. And then make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline and line it up with your lightsaber or pen. Okay, so now that you've done that, you can click on the lightsaber layer down in the timeline, hit M, and then click on the stopwatch next to the mask path. Now you can make keyframes. So basically now you can hit page down and then move your lightsaber so that it kind of matches up. So you can see now like it moves with your lightsaber. So just like keep hitting page down and in the video description I'll put in what time to skip to so that you don't need to watch this part. Okay, so once you're done, it should look like this. Mine's a little bit like, kind of like, not that good, cause I rushed because I didn't want you guys waiting. So like, it should look better than this, but this is basically the effect you want. So now that you have your lightsaber, and 
to take your actor layer and then hit the delete key to delete it. So now you just have your lightsaber. Now click on layer, new, solid. And you can make it, you can call it BG. No, you don't need to call it anything. But, but you're gonna make it black. Hit make comp and then press OK. You're going to put it below the lightsaber layer and then click on the lightsaber layer and then hit control D twice. So now you have three lightsaber layers. You can open up the feathering to all of them and feather them out until you like the effect. Try to make it look like a lightsaber. <coughs> So this is what I did. I made the first one 23 pixels, the next one 25, the last one 4. You don't need to do exactly that, but you can do it around there. So now that you've got your lightsaber like that, you can find your actor um comp your actor layer up here in the project folder and import it into the new composition. So now you have a completely whole new composition of just this. And the other composition has this. This composition with the lightsaber in it is called Video 210. So now you can go to your composition with the actor layer in it and find up here the composition for Video 210. So it's right here. Now import it into this composition above the actor layer. And also earlier, I changed um, this timeline to one second. So now you're going. I'm going to trim this composition to one second. So you can do composition, composition settings, one second. But the ba but you can't see the actor. So you're going to find the lightsaber layer. We can call it saber and name this on the bottom actor and click on the saber and find the transfer mode and change it to add if you can't find the transfer mode you can hit F4 and it brings it up or you can click on toggle switches modes down here so now that you've got this we're really close to be, um, being done we just need to add color so click on the saber layer go to l effect color correction, color balance. And like if you want a blue lightsaber, you can change all of these blue, um, cause there's shadow blue, mid-tone blue, and highlight blue. Change all of them to 100, and it should look kinda like this. But you might wanna adjust it around to make it look more like a lightsaber. And you can mix around the colors to make new colors like yellow or orange so this is basically the effect that you should have in the end and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as I said this was my second After Effects tutorial and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below so uh, I hope I helped and I'll see you next time